What's up everybody once again it's brand man Sean and this video right here is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com because I signed myself. Now this clip right here that I'm about to show you is me having a conversation with a rapper named Oren Major. Now Oren is dope. I really love the way he's been navigating the industry and even this snippet is really about how he kind of finessed getting on a playlist but I wouldn't even use finesse. He just has a good way of going about networking and building relationships. And that's extremely important because when you look at where he is now to the fact that he had an income of $20,000 from playlist streaming alone, it shows that you can move and make things happen in this way. It's the network. When I got on Spotify and I started looking around and started seeing the, um, the playlist, I had realized that a lot of the playlisters were just random people, regular people that I can contact maybe through Facebook. Um, so I started seeing the playlist that had like decent numbers and they were getting decent traction and linking, like matching them up with their Facebook profiles by the picture. Mm -hmm. And he, he just happened to be one of them that responded. And I have followed up with him a couple of times and responded the first couple of times. And I and also I didn't jump in his, um, in his inbox like, yo, check out my music. It was like a yo, I really like your playlist, dude. And like asking questions like that. And then I think maybe the last time I was like, yo, is there any way I can submit music to this playlist? And he finally hit me back like, yeah, my bad, man. I get a lot of messages. Yo, I checked you out. You're dope. And all that. You know what I mean? Like without me really pressuring him, he went and checked out my music just from me contacting him that way. That's and dope, man. Everything went from there. Man, I'm glad you shared that approach because I like... You know, I'm sure you've done the same with people randomly because I'm sure people have hit you up um, before. And I know I definitely have looked up a lot of people who have not asked me to listen to their music. I like, just, I see them talking or I see them in some comment section. I'm like, let me check this person out. This look interesting. And you, you know, you either like it or you don't. But yeah. like, that, that approach is definitely like not going hard all the time. Like sometimes you just got to get people to know you. you have to necessarily <laughs> ask for something. I'll say 80% like. of the time, it's like you want it to be like that. I just, I have artists on the label now, and somebody I was with earlier showed me that both of the artists who have music dropping just sent them links. I didn't say mm -hmm. anything prior, just sent them links. So I had hit them both up and was like, yo, you got to stop doing that. That's the quickest way to get people to not listen to your stuff. Like, if you're going to jump in somebody's inbox, have a conversation with them because people don't really care about your product as much as they care about you. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. if you get to know somebody and they have a relationship with you, then they're going to want to go listen to your project or at least they're going to want to share it and, and tell somebody else that, yo, you should check this dude out. It's the network. All right. I know artists have heard something similar to this before in terms of don't just spam people. Don't just spam people. But I want to really explain and just emphasize how much this actually works now you can see the full interview right of this on brandmannetwork.com but just from this snippet alone it's enough to see the way Orn moves is something that's a little bit organic right it's, it's very organic in the way he goes about things and not putting pressure on people but making himself be known first and why that's so relevant is at the end of the day people are going to check you out if they want to check you out once they have time if they see you like enough and they see that you're carrying yourself a certain way. I can't tell you how many times where I'll just go ahead and say, you know, what? let me check this person out. I happen to have like a few seconds and then I might go down the funnel and say, yo, this person's dope. And now I saw one. I check out the, the next one. Then I check out the next one. And that's just as a fan since I was a kid. You know what I mean? You'll see something enough and then I'll, eventually you'll check it out. Right. So if you can get yourself known in people's face enough, they'll probably check out your music one way or another. But even bigger than that. I want to emphasize the fact that this is so relevant. Not only did it allow him to navigate, but he believes in this method so much that he tells his own artists not to do this. Like, yo, you got to chill out. Sending those links is going to ruin your relationship. It's going to ruin your brand. So understand that there, there's very little benefit to just spamming people with links. Like for real, it's, it's very little benefit. But if you can make yourself known constantly, starting those conversations, asking for uh, advice consistently or updates or just saying, what's up, how you doing? Or, oh, you added this song to this playlist. Yo, man, that's dope to the point where they just know you and have some kind of familiarity with you. When that time comes and then you still ask in a, in a nice way, you know what I mean? But when that time comes, then 
they'll be more likely to pull the trigger. I can't guarantee, but they'll be more likely. And yes, it's more work. And yes, it doesn't seem like it's as beneficial on the front end, but that's how it goes. That's what separates a lot of folks. But I'm gonna get off my soapbox on that one. Once again, you can see this full interview at brandmagnetwork.com because I signed myself. If you like this video, go ahead, like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.